على جانب البيت على جانب البيت اه وهي عندنا بهلا بيتين كبار هون هم بيتين واحد لاحمد واحد لابوي اه وهون البحر وهون البحر اه اكيد هذا هذا ايش بتذكر؟ هذا البيت هذا هذا بيتك؟ اكيد هذا بيتك؟ ايه أقعد أنا وأبوي على البحر لما يكون رمضان ونقعد نشوف البحر لما الشمس تغيب. The Palestinian fishing village of Tantura, with around 1,500 inhabitants, was one of the last remaining Arab communities along the coast when the State of Israel was established on the 15th of May, 1948. By the 23rd of May, Tantura was occupied and depopulated by Israeli forces. Witnesses spoke of fierce Palestinian resistance and systematic Israeli massacres after the occupation of the village. By analyzing ground-level photographs, memory sketches drawn by refugees, village surveys, and aerial images, and by listening to the testimonies of Palestinian witnesses, we located sites of mass graves previously unidentified. Using an immersive 3D model of the village, we further undertook situated testimony with Adnan Yahya, a survivor of the massacre. Today, the day of the day. Yes, the day of the day. the فالمقاومين ما عندهم سلاح كويس كان ضعيف اطلقوا قتلوا قتلوا حوالي 20 25 واحد قتلوا British mandate aerial images from 1946 and 1947 show Tantura before its invasion and the subsequent ethnic cleansing as a living village. Vegetation is tended from roads regularly used. Israeli aerial images from 1949 show concentrated destruction in three prominent areas. In the north of the village near the main cemetery, along by the beach, and in the southern part of the village. These scars correspond to military maps and testimonies regarding the directions of the Israeli invasion. Aerial images from 1952 further document the village being gradually howled out following its forced depopulation and the Jewish settlements of Nachsholim and Dor being built on its lands. By 1956, the village was almost fully demolished. ايه جمعونا كمية كبيرة وقعدنا بالشمس لا أكل ولا شرب ولا مي ولا شيء أبدا ولا شيء بعدين أخذوا كلياتنا على المقبرة The systematic gathering and separation of men and women and children is often the first step of mass executions. Multiple archival images 
show Israeli forces separating villagers from Tantura. صفوف كصفوف المصلين الرجال واخذ النساء حطوهن في مكان ثاني Women and children were gathered by Israeli forces and placed on trucks and forced out of the village. Many were displaced to the nearby village of Fridis, later pushed out of Palestine and rendered refugees. According to the testimonies of survivors, a series of executions of disarmed fighters and civilians were conducted by Israeli forces. Accounts of the numbers of those murdered vary greatly between 20 and 280, mainly men, with testimonies suggesting that women were also amongst the victims. يرشوهم باثناء ساعة زمان ساعتين زمان قتلوا بيطلع ستين سبعين شاب وقت يعني حملونا نقلونا من البحر إلى منطقة قرب المقبرة عرفت كيف في هناك صبر منه ولا كبلة ولا مغرب هذا كله تكبر هاي من حد ولا كبلة لحد النخلات هذا مكبرة للشجرات ولا شو ما بكن ثاني الشجرات منها ولا شمال حوالي ثلاثين متر هناك يعني أقل أقل أكثر ما بك. The aerial image from 1949 shows a large human-made rectangular mound that didn't exist in previous images. Using shadow analysis. We model this earthwork. It is 33 meters long, 3 meters wide, and approximately 1 meter high. Depending on how the bodies were buried, the size of the grave could contain between 60 and 160 bodies. North of the mound is a shallow rectangular patch with a very minor depth. This patch has semi-regular edges and a lighter earth color than its surroundings. This lighter color could be attributed to a scar of the bulldozer scraping the surface north of the mound, potentially to pile more earth over the original grave. We also observed a short road that leads to a small building with a domed roof, likely added by the Israeli army. This earth mound is visible in the aerial image from 1952. By 1956, it was overgrown by vegetation, and by 1957, the mound was flattened. The only trace is the scar of the bulldozer scraping the ground. It is possible that some human remains are spread across the area leveled for a parking lot. والله كانوا يقولوا شيء ستين سبعين واحد بين ولد وبين بنت وبين زلمة يدفنوا كل مع بعض يدفنوا جورة واحدة الجورة هاي بقولوا لها بستان السوكي A memory sketch of the village drawn by Tantura survivor Ahmad Taha Salam identifies the properties of different families prior to the occupation of the village. We geolocated the family properties of the 1947 aerial image using key markers such as main roads, the village square, and the mosque. Of these, plot 6 contains an orchard and the largest field owned by the Dusuki family in 1948. 
when overlaying the 1947 aerial image with the 1949 image, a human-made earth mound is visible in this field. Importantly, the second mound is similar in form and dimensions to the one we saw near the cemetery. Both are long and thin earth features of a similar width and height, oriented along a similar east-west axis, and are parallel to a line of high vegetation in an otherwise open field. It is our assessment that this is very likely a second mass grave with a dimension that could contain between 40 to 80 bodies. حفروا هالجوره وزت صاروا زي زي السردين على سكينه على جنبه صفطوا بيهم حطوا اول صف وثاني صف ضلوا ثلاث نسوان برا في ثلاث نسوان حفروا لهم كمان جوره الثانيه الثلاثه ودفنوهن وين دفنوهن دفنوهن في بستان الدسوقي traces of this mass grave are visible in the 1952 aerial image. The location of this mass grave was previously unidentified. Multiple testimonies refer to executions and burial behind Ahmed Haj Yahya's house by the beach. In an interview, Tantura survivor Mustafa al-Masri pointed to the southern part of a two-meter wall behind the home of Hajj Yahya. Fuad Hassadiyya, resident of Fridis, recounted finding human bones in the same area. A large ground disturbance is visible approximately 25 meters south of the site. We believe this is possibly the site of a mass grave testified to by survivors. داخل في في المقبره في داخل الابور بين الابور يعني ما 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 اهتموا ايش ايش اي محل انما كان داخل المقبره بين الابور العاديه. جيبين الحفره يعني زي هذه الكوله المقبره ولا الحفره؟ ولا الحفره الحفره اه, آه الحفره آه. مترين متر ونص مترين تقريبا أكثر من من ثلاث مطار عميقة كانت عشان تاخذ أكثر من ممكن من الناس. إيه؟ مترين ونص مترين ونص. إيه؟, إيه؟ وكنا في إحنا على على الطرف على الجنب. هاي ب... صعب ي... أتذكر هذا بس إنه. Like Adnan, multiple other witness testimonies also speak of the existence of further mass graves inside the cemetery. يمسكوا هل يعبوا قتلا ويجيبوا ويديروا هيك على التربه والله وعيني تتفرج اي والله اي بنص التربه حطوها In the aerial image from 1949 we observed ground disturbances corresponding to the location and dimensions of the mass grave described in these testimonies It is possible that one or more of these scars are remnants of those graves That's my father. And he is still living. What shall I do? Mm. Or to look? <laughs> Through him. Mm. Uh, Rabina, who was a
ما ميت بعده مجروح هذا بشيء ما بنساه في حياتي ابدا اي دونت اي دونت فورجيت ذات ات اول Over the past 75 years, the stones from Tantura have been used in the construction and landscaping of the two Jewish settlements and tourist resorts that were built over its ruins. Only three original buildings from the village of Tantura remain, along the traces of original roads and trees. The mass grave by the cemetery is today a parking lot serving the tourist resort. The mass grave by the Dusuqi field is the beginning of a pedestrian promenade leading out of the parking lot. The sites of the graves testified to by witnesses are located within the holiday camps. The mass graves in Tontura have since been desecrated, but the testimony of the land stands alongside the memory of its survivors. هلا انا شايف شايف نفسي انا شايف نفسي شو عم بساوي امم يا كيف ما انه it is like a dream like a dream a very bad dream امم 